Rachel to be your wedded wife? I do. Do you vow to live together in the covenant of marriage? Do you promise to love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, in forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? I do. Rachel, do you take Caleb to be your wedded husband? I do. Do you vow to live together in the covenant of marriage? Do you promise to love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as you both shall live? Thank you. Caleb, I want you to repeat after me. I take you, Rachel. I take you, Rachel. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer, for poor. In sickness and in health. For sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. To death to us part. To death to us part. Rachel, repeat after me. I take you, Caleb. I take you, Caleb. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer, for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. I therefore pronounce you husband and wife. Caleb, you can kiss your bride. <laughs> I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Caleb and Rachel Horton. I'm not um, real sure what you say at a toast. I'm always the minister, so I've never had to do this before. But um, just let me say how much we love and appreciate them. And if there's really any gift that I could give them, it would be able to for them to be able to see them through my eyes. Because if they could do that, they would realize how much I care and love for them. So our best for them, and my prayer is that uh, God will bless them. So to Rachel and Kim. My toast for Rachel and Caleb would be to um, keep your life Christ-centered, first and foremost, love one another with all your hearts, and um, love your family through them too. It, uh, sometimes things are tough, but don't forget who your family and friends are. And uh, like I said, just love one another with all your hearts and, and uh, keep Christ first and foremost. Amen. Thank you. going into this with the full intention of bombing, by the way. I brought a sheet because I'm well prepared like that. Rachel, you're married to my best friend now, and I know why you love him. He's quiet, dignified, funny, and honestly, one of the best people I've ever met. Uh, and I'm going to give you a little glimpse of the inner workings of this man. Uh, see, one day, we were driving back from one of our seemingly hundreds of concerts that we played to tens of people, and I asked him if he was going to marry you. I actually have the exact quote. Uh, he looked at me and he said, yeet. I'm just kidding, he said yes. He knew this day was coming pretty much since he met you. It wasn't an end for him, it was a win. You weren't his possibility, you were his everything. Caleb, man, I'm gonna be honest, this is the end of an era. After today, I'm not your best friend, she is. I know that you're going to take care of her and I know she's going to take care of you in a way that frankly, I never could and never want to. And I can't thank you enough for the honor of being your best man and being able to see you two fall in love with each other. Sacrifice everything for each other and know that if nothing else in the world happens and you have her, you have everything. I'll never be able to find a friend better than you and you'll never be able to find anyone better than Rachel, so I'm extremely happy that this worked out for you because frankly, I didn't know what you would do after this. I love you guys so much and Please invite me over to the house. I still want to see my best friend. Hey guys, uh, my name's Stephanie, and um, <laughs> okay, sorry. Rachel and I have known each other for a very long time. 
I just want the best for you both of you because you're both strong, independent people and together you are an unstoppable force and I enjoy our third wheel dates. I'm either on a date with Kayla or I'm on a date with Rachel. I just wish you honestly the best. There is so much more that I wanted to say, but it's just not coming out that way. Uh, Emily, do you have anything to say?